welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a makeup transformation following Amanda Enzies, en things, sorry, um, video titled for makeup transformation and chit chat. It's a like a baggy look. I have not done a full face of makeup like this for like at least three years, at least. So it was quite a shock for me <laughs> to be looking like this, but I love Amanda Enzies. I think she's fantastic. She's so beautiful, like inside and out, and she's incredibly genuine and kind. And um, I think she uses her platform for for good. So if you are interested, definitely go and check her out. Um, but otherwise, be prepared for a very um, interesting video because unfortunately, I don't know how to concentrate on talking to you when I'm doing my makeup. So it's going to be very chippy choppy. So I do apologise for that. But um, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so the first thing that Amanda is doing is putting on an eyeshadow primer and she is using Urban Decay, which I happen to have. So, woof, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and she puts like a pretty decent amount on. I typically when I was, oh, sorry my hair is a bit, um, when I used to be a makeup artist I would typically not, not put a lot on but I'm going to do what she's doing because she knows what she's doing. So, whew. and I'm a lot paler than her, like a lot paler than her and I think she, she's got fake tan on but even still like she seems like a tanned person. Now I have hardly any brushes anymore. So most of this I'll be doing with my hands. Woohoo! Uh, okay, so she's putting like a warm colour in the crease of her eye. Well, let's just pause that right there. Okay, so I have this heavy magical Nine West box full <laughs> of my makeup, which I don't use on a daily basis. Can you, can you see it? So, plus all my essential oils. Why it smells so good? Damn. All right. So I've got all my palettes in here. I think I'm going to use to begin with the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette because they have some really good crease colors in there. So. The colour she's using is, is a little bit darker than this, but I'm going to go in with that, that little baby. And I've just got a very old Napoleon Purtis sculpting brush. Don't recommend it. Don't recommend anything from Napoleon Purtis, but I got it um, for free, so I'm using it. And I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. So I thought whilst I film this, I talk about Botox and lip fillers specifically. Um, I'm all about body confidence and self-love. Really, I think that in a perfect world, we would be able to accept every part of ourselves. Um, but it's undeniable, it's just human nature that we don't. And one of those things that I really don't like about my face is my lips because they're very thin. Even now, I've got lip fillers. So, and they're thin. I have one nil. If that doesn't tell you how thin my lips were, I don't know what will. Um, unfortunately, my lip fillers, they did metabolize really quickly. I've only had them for a month. I'll show you a picture, actually, of what they looked like. Well, I'll, I'll insert it. Um, I won't, like, show you my cracked phone on the screen. Mm. My phone's going all funky. But I was really unsure about doing it because I knew I would get addicted to it and once I started I wouldn't stop because I knew I would probably love how I looked with the lip fillers more than without. But I was like fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. So that's what I did and boy was I right because they've already metabolized and I'm like I need them again but they're like $400 a pop and um, I'm unemployed, so that can wait. Um, and I actually found I looked quite natural with them. I thought I was gonna look really 
fake because my lips were so thin it would be really obvious that they were inflated um, but oh, this is something else I do with <laughs> when I do my makeup I stick out my pinky like some fancy rich English person I don't know why I do it I do the same when I drink coffee or hot chocolate and I get a lot of shit for it um, I don't do it on purpose it's just natural for me it's comfortable for me um, but I am really self-conscious of it especially when I used to be a makeup artist people would pick up on it all the time I'm like you look like you're like some wealthy English person who's about to go and play the piano <laughs> it's like <laughs> no but anyway I think it gives me more balance really now I'm really conscious of it like I keep on like trying to stick it back in anywho alright I think We've got some shape working for us there. From what I can see, she's blended out one shade through her crease um, and then gone through with another shade to soften that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna take the next lighter shade there and I might even mix it in with that cream color just to soften it towards my brow bone. Do do do. So back to lip fillers. Um, I really don't think there's anything wrong with getting a bit of work done, honestly, like, ideally, yes, like, we'd want to just love ourselves regardless, and that's always what we should aim for, um, but if there is something that you really can't look past, and you think that you would be genuinely happier or less concerned about your appearance or less anxious because being self-conscious about your appearance can really be debilitating um, so if you really think it's going to aid you to be happier then by all means do it why the fuck not because ultimately that's the goal is to be happy like if you don't think that you can get lip fillers and be content with yourself from that point on and you think you're just going to keep on going maybe you need to do some other work mentally but if you can really like think yeah if I get these lip fillers I'll, I'll be content um, or if I get you know this Botox next to my eyes or if I get a little bit done in my nose whatever it is like if, if you can settle on that and really feel content in yourself and feel beautiful then by all means do it but don't allow it to become an unhealthy addiction. Um, when I got my lip fillers done, I really did, from that point, think, yeah, that's like all I needed. That's all I needed for my face. Like, I was also debating jawline fillers. That was just me being a cheater because I'm overweight and I just wanted a better jawline. <laughs> so, um, and considering how expensive it was, not worth it. Not worth it. All right, so Amanda's going in with like more of a purpley kind of shade to her crease, which I don't really have in this palette. So let's have a look. We've got this uh, Zoeva Smoky palette. There might be one in there. Yes. There's heaps in there. All right, what shall I do? I might go in with this baby. Yeah, so. I will probably be getting my lip fillers again when the time is right and I've got some cashola to spend but they're very like they're completely healthy like they've been proven like there's nothing wrong with getting them done health wise so we're just gonna build this Amanda seems like quite dark not getting that kind of like she's got that really nice purple look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was all up. Alright. This is not working out. <laughs> but, uh, clearly, um, my makeup skills are not as good as they used to be. I just don't think I've used the right colours. kind of buffing out now. Slow down Amanda, I can't keep up. So my video cut out as usual, sorry guys. Um, I'm going to continue now. Amanda is starting to put like some frosty, like gun metal, really cool color 
Now I do have the Naked 2 palette, but I don't know where the fuck it's gone. So I'm gonna use the Naked 3 palette and I, Amanda's using a, a limited edition matte color. Sorry, I just pressed my finger in Dasha, which I don't have. Um, so I'm gonna use a mixture of, I think, Mug Shot. <gasps> and I can't get a sharp on edge. I've just gone a bit under there with my concealer. I've already blended out that side. You know when you get hangry, 
Yeah. Maybe that's why I keep on fucking everything up because my brain's not functioning. Abe is just sitting here with me whilst I do my makeup. Darling! Look, look at her ears. She knows I'm talking to her, she just doesn't give a fuck. Ava, darling, turn around. Let me look at your pretty face. No? Okay, fine. Okay, so Amanda's now going with a powder contour. Um, I don't have a powder bronzer that is matte anymore, except for this Mecca bronzer, which is a little bit shimmery. And I do have a brush for this, so I'm gonna go in with this and just go over that. Okay, so I've done my eyeliner and I've also lined my waterline and Amanda, she lines her waterline and then blends it out. I'm not coping with having this much product on my eyes right now. Um, she blended it out with the purple shade, so that's what I'm gonna do. I can get this open. So I'm gonna use those two purple shades that I used before, but I'm also gonna use some of that chocolate color and maybe even a little bit of black. And we'll see how we go. But let's get started. Okay, so whilst I'm baking, I'm going to put on my mascara. I have done a wink liner. Um, I thought when I was looking at the video, I thought Amanda put on wink liner and she actually didn't. It was just her false lashes that like looked really um, cool. Um, I don't have any false lashes, so I'm gonna stick with the liner and um, let it take a similar effect and just really load up on this mascara. Loading, 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 loading. Yeah, I've been very on and off in this video, so I keep like losing track of my makeup and forgetting what I'm talking about, but I think it's important that we really share that positive vibe with each other. And I know it's never gonna be like a global thing, but like it's, it's there's always gonna be negativity but the more we promote it, especially now that we have this privilege of social media um, and connection, global connection, I really think we should take advantage of that and try and promote positivity as much as we can. So, um, yeah, let's just, let's just do that. <laughs> let's just be positive people, guys. Like, it's just, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Even when I was depressed, I knew how to, treat people nicely. There's no excuse to be mean to people. All right, I'm brush this off. Got a little bit of mascara fall out there. Okay, so I've taken off my baking powder. The next thing Amanda did was put on some highlighter. I am going to use the Laura Mercier highlighter. Ooh, Lord. I might actually lay down some um, wet highlighter first so that it really sticks. This is the Jason Moran Argan Oil. And usually I'm really against um, using cream over powder, but in this instance, it'll work for me because it's just gonna give me that base that I need. I'm just gonna really ensure that you warm it up into the skin and blend it in when you do it that way.
dramatic encounter from Mac. I'm just going to clean that off. So this has got like some of that purple tone that Amanda had in her lips. It's a bit darker though than what she had. And I'm done. All right guys, so that is the finished look. I actually don't mind it. I thought I was going to get all this makeup on and be freaking out about my appearance. I must say my eyeballs are freaking out. They're like watering up as we speak and they're really itchy. Um, but I'm actually like really feeling it. Like this is like the vibe I'm going for today. Anyway, um, like that vampy kind of put it on my teeth. That'd be kind of a sleek look, so mm. thanks so much for watching and um, please click subscribe to join the fam and if you want regular content that has dogs in it or cats, you will find it here. So if you love dogs and you love cats, click subscribe and have an amazing day, night or afternoon, wherever you are. Thanks, bye.